Alrighty, trigger warning. Going no shirt on this one. Trigger warning. Just for all the haters. Come on and pay attention. Also, Facebook fan page lady. Let it go. Let it go. We got bigger fish to fry. Let it go, lady. We're going to bury it here. Welcome back to White Boy Lockdown Radio. You never know, we might go shirtless. Look, let's knock this one out the ballpark right quick. I don't want to hear it no more. Real quick recap. I did, a, I did a lie. I jumped on a panel the other day because somebody had the daughter of one of the biggest exploiters in the true crime scene on an interview. It was something that sporadically happened, and uh, there was no way I'm missing this. Hey, look, people, look, I'm sunburned. It's hot in Florida. It, you know, I sweat. I work. Um, I did state that, too, when I, when I get off, okay? This, this person I was interviewed was uh, 18 years old, old enough to buy cigarettes, old enough to fight for this country. And to all the parents out there, if you have in your household an 18-year-old boy or girl, you should feel blessed, happy, and secure if your biggest worry in the world for your child, your young adult, is for them to see somebody without a shirt. Feel blessed. Only good, only parents know what that means. And listen, about that, what, what, what the gang gang fails to realize or say is the coward himself, Mr. Birdchest, is always... Always shirtless. He's hippity hopping him. Hippity hopping and singing the rap music. He's always shirtless. Smoking doobies, popping pills, swerving, all that. You don't you for, you forget to say that part. You forget to say that part. Um, and you know, for all the people with the no shirt shirt comments, I don't think that you donated to the young woman's cause of a new car. Because if you did so, it would be it would bring the goal a little higher, okay? But you just donated your grievance. That doesn't do anything. Everyone has assholes. Everyone. Opinions are like assholes. I might have said it backwards. Speaking of backwards, Facebook fan page lady, let it rest. Let it rest. You're digging yourself a bigger hole. Look, I've been nice about this, okay? I've been nice about this. And to be honest, this is the last time I'm addressing this. I want to cover that case with meaningful coverage, okay? I was never a member of the Facebook fan page that you created, never. But I, I, I am covering this case for my community, for my community. Doug is in my community. But... Since you decide to contact other YouTubers and give your sad story, you are dealing with a special set of sleuths when it comes to Doug. These people are like soldiers. They dig it all up, okay? So I know it all now, okay? And, and I did not want to do this. The best thing you can do is just be quiet over there and I'll be quiet over here. I don't know why this is still going on, okay? At first, it is... You need a new laptop to run the Facebook group, okay? Something that is just simple words and emojis. Anyone can do off their phone. People in the chat run groups off their phone. My wife has a group she runs off her phone. However, you need a laptop. That We'll go with that one. But then it's... The cat jumped on the jumped up and spilt the soda on the keyboard, so that's why you need it. But then it's but then it's you receive corrupted files, the, the, uh, viruses. You see where people have a problem with that. Now, on top of that, if you were to read the comments and and just not get mad at me, it's a community decision. Okay, I'm learning a lot of Doug Live from Northport's community. They like to all brainstorm together and come to a conclusion. 
by no means am I anybody's leader by any means. If you read the comments, you would see that, that his community is saying, oh, we're schooling you, Matt, which is true. Also, when I posted the last, the last live, when I showed the screenshots from Doug himself, if you read the comments, you would see that it's not the, the person whose conversation that was with Doug. It was not even the lady, C. Kelly, who I, who I had call in, who you've also blocked. It was actually from somebody else. Now, I'm not going to say the person's name. It doesn't matter. You probably already banned and blocked them anyhow. But if you read the comments and educated yourself, you would see what I'm explaining. Okay? I, that, that was a totally different person. You know, at first here, it's like, why is this lady blocking my wife, who to this day has made one video of the whole subject? Why is she blocking my and my wife's videos on Doug? Now, in the, in the world of censorship that we live in, when they want to shut you up, it means you have something valuable to say. However, the way that you're doing this is you, 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 I, you, you, you saw this. You saw that there, the community grab the hold, and you do know that they do brainstorm and come to their own conclusions. You knew that at some point this was going to get exposed, okay? At the, at, the, at the time of the last live, I only knew that you were making the Doug Live from Northport shirts, okay? I never knew that you were also making Gabby Petito shirts, also making Summer Wells shirts, up into... Summer Wells visual shirts. Th those were a certain amount of uh, YouTubers that went, went up there and, and, and decided to do something, okay? And, and to my knowledge, I, I believe they, they didn't do anything monetized, okay? I, I, I don't want to speak for everybody because I honestly don't know that. But the, but the fact is, literally, you're, you're, you're utilizing this platform against the man's worth. He, it's flat out no. You went against his tr not only copyright trademark to do it, kind of playing off his feelings because he might be a, a nice fella and maybe he's going to let it slide. But sometimes people are not just stern with people. You have to figure out people's personalities. But listen, man, it's the oldest one in the book. Yes is yes and no is no. You have to also respect boundaries. But to go as far as to make the Gabby Petito shirts and the Summer Well shirts, that's a little bit too much. That that's a lot. That's a lot too much. Um, you know, I can't tell you what to make. It's not for me to do. But at the same time, you can't tell me what to say. So we we cannot correct each other there. And I will give you credit. Your husband is a hero to me. A hero. In my eyes, he's a hero. He served and fought for this country. So, I understand he died in 2016. I understand you have full med uh, VA benefits with that. What you do with your personal time and what you sell is, is completely your business. I understand that. However, the problem is timing. Timing. People are earning, earning updates from Doug from Li Doug Live from Northport, and and to push and have QR codes and to push and have pictures of these shirts right now to ask for a computer right now when you yourself said that the that that, that the community went from 200 members to 2,000 members. You know that the community is earning the updates. You said it in your email that's posted on my wall. You know this. These are not shirts that were made months and months and months ago. The Summer Wells visual was just around the corner a few weeks ago. Timing is also a key. And to ban people who are questioning things 
is very questionable by itself. By itself. Look, I don't really care what you do with your group. I never was even a part of that page. But when you try to censor and, and, and silence some people who are actually trying to do something with the whole case and cause, you know, there's a little problem there. So I will speak on it. But please, no more emails and get out of the comment section. There's proof of the, the summer shirts, the Doug shirts, the, 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 the Gabby shirts. You know, there's people out there that were literally looking in the woods. Literally looking in the woods for Brian Laundry. I mean, those people are not trying to profit off the case. Doug takes his own personal time, gas, and does what he does. He still was doing it up to the, up to the day of his attack involved in that case. You know, I really wonder what he would think about that situation. I don't think anybody, anybody involved with that case, if you ask any of them, even up to the media, guarantee they're going to say that that case is a special part in their heart. So it's that it's frowned upon. It's just, it's just, it just is. Lady, look, I got bigger things and bigger fish to fry over here. D do your shirts, whatever. But at the end of the day, from what I understand, from what I understand, there is another page, there is another page created. E either it's already created or it's in the works. And I can guarantee you that the same way that community flocks, thinks, comes together, they all have each other's back, I guarantee you that community is going to have a solid page over there with none of this shenanigans going on. I, 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 I cannot promise you that, but I have a strong feeling that that's going to happen. And being that I wasn't over on your page, when I eventually do find the new page, Doug Live people, leave it in the comments so I know where to go. And, and also tell everyone else where to go. I will be a part of that one because it'll be shenanigan free. And I may just, I have also have a feeling that my videos will be able to be played over there without censorship. Have a nice life. And for the people with the shirt, look, get over it. It's 2022. We got Biden in office, gas prices, inflation. We got Ukraine, Russia, all everything. If the if you if if the worst thing in your life and your biggest worry, your biggest grievance and complaint is white boy shirtless, then man, God bless your soul, you're doing good. I only wish, I only would wish that you were that adamant with your local politicians, your state reps. And let them know how you feel on a daily basis. Man, we'd be winning that society if that happened. Until the next one, man, it's White Boy Radio, Twitter, IG, Getter. Get at it. We have no uh, fraudulent merch over here. Okay? We don't have any fundraisers over here. And look, tune in at your risk. Some days I might have a shirt. Some days I might not have a shirt. And who the hell knows if I got pants on or not right now. You never thought of that one, did you? Till the next one.